are back and so is Cow 2500. This is the Hoof GP and this is how she looked last time. So as you can see, Cow 2500 was in a terrible state. And I said at the end of that video, mark my words, I'm gonna heal 2500 and she will be completely pain-free at some point in the future. Hopefully, not too distantly. But right now, let's look at the past and at the very first time we saw Cow 2500's foot. As you can see, it was in an awful mess. But as you can also see, there had been a block applied. Scott the dairyman had done a great job of a first trim. He'd applied a block which had relieved the weight and therefore some of the pain from this foot. But she really was in a bad way. Her whole hoof was actually infected and was covered in digital dermatitis. So we wrapped it with salicylic acid and this is how she was walking. Not very well at all. We revisited her two weeks later and in actual fact, her foot had got even worse. The infection had spread and as you can see, there was a huge amount of inflammation actually pushing the hoof capsule off the hoof. And the lesion was again covered in digital dermatitis. So again, we wrapped the foot and we let her go. She was actually probably walking worse than she was during the first visit, which can sometimes unfortunately happen. So I'm keen to see how she is now. So we are back here and so is Cow 2500. Here is how she's looking today. Her blocks are still on and she is walking much better than she was last time, but clearly still not perfectly. So let's get her up the race into the crush and get that foot in the air. Seriously folks, I really hope that when we lift her foot it's looking much better than it did last time because those blocks can be, or make it deceptive, they can be deceptive because the cow wants to walk properly, obviously, and the blocks are acting like crutches. Well, lass. So now that our foot's in the air, it's important to give it a good wash. But believe it or not, from my point of view, that's mostly so that we can see what's going on her foot is going to go back into the slurry. She's in a dirty environment, so there's fairly little we can actually do against infection. Obviously, the cleaner the better, but we can't keep it clean indefinitely. Although it would be amazing if we could. So let's get a better look. I'm not sure if that's picking that up, but that's blood on my finger. But obviously, it is not red, is it? It's kind of brownie and still full of infection unfortunately her foot is really really hot okay so all we're gonna do here is scrape away these hard edges some of it will be muck as you've just seen but the hard edges are important to come away because they'll just keep insulting that corium that is trying to heal as you can hear her foot is rock solid listen literally like stone that's because her foot isn't in the slurry just now because those two blocks are keeping it up in the air and that's exactly what we want because we want this lesion here to dry out and begin to heal we're gonna do almost nothing to this cow's foot just now just cleaning it and reapplying iodine is gonna be the best thing that we can do in fact I'm actually gonna stop there this is granulation and this is new hoof horn starting to form. You can see the edges have closed in on this. This was much more substantial. Believe it or not, this is actually a good result so far. She's definitely nothing like out of the woods, but she is way more comfortable and that's our jobs as hoof trimmers and as just human beings, to be honest. Yeah, I'm actually quite impressed with this so far. Our main battle though, believe it or not, is not going to be this open lesion. Well, obviously we need to heal that up. That, yeah, we do need to heal that up. That's a major part of the battle, but this is the greater problem. If you look at the swelling here, at the posterior of the pedal bone, you see the pedal bone is the same shape as the hoof, basically, so it's triangular in here and it comes to a point down here. But all of this mass here is massively swollen, excuse the pun, and that swelling is very unlikely to go back down. 
But let's not, con let's not concern ourselves with that right now. Let's concern ourselves with this lesion that's protruding out the bottom of our foot by completely soaking it in iodine. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to decide if there's actually some dermatitis on it. I actually think there is a slight amount of it. Yeah, I'm not entirely happy actually now that I'm looking at it more closely. And that's fine. It's fine to think one thing, examine it more closely and decide something else. It's important that you can do that in life, not just in hoof trimming, everything. You need to reanalyze and make sure you make the best decision. We are going to wrap this with salicylic acid, but we're also going to include plenty of iodine in there to get it to dry out. The cleaner and drier we can get this to be, the bigger a chance we have of healing it completely. Hence all the iodine being mixed in with that salicylic acid. So good old cow 2500 here is being a great sport. She's going to hit the crush really easily each time actually. So I'm glad we can do everything we can to help her. But it's not just about that, it is about business as well. I love the cows, obviously I love them. Who's not going to love them? They like big puppies. But my customers need these cows to perform well and they can't perform well when they're not walking fantastically. Hence, it doesn't make sense for farmers around the world not to look after their cows, which is why I'm glad to say all of my customers do. Right, let's see how she's walking out in the open. Hold up a second, right, I will get, we will see Cow 2500 walk, I promise, but before that, I talk about Easy Fix, they sponsor the channel, and it's easy for me to tell you that they are fantastic, but it's better if their customers who are not sponsored by them tell you exactly what they think of Easy Fix products. Here is what they think. Are, are serious about trying to maximize the cow comfort in your facility, there's no other way you should go other than going with an easy fix flex stall. It's pretty phenomenal what these stalls can do. I wanted to change anything different. I'm really pleased with the cubicles that easy fix have supplied. I would dream of finishing cattle on slats anymore without slat rubber. You're going to be happiest with the longevity of an easy fix mat and Easy Fix has gone above and beyond and standing behind the product. I mean, it's unbelievable. I would tell anybody that's thinking about building a confinement shed to definitely get Easy Fix Mats. We've had wonderful luck with them. See, it's not just me that says good things about them. Anyway, let's get 2500 fixed up and out walking so that we can see how she's doing now. Yep. Still terribly, but better than she was before. And like I said, the infection is starting to die away. It's starting to come right down. And that's nothing to do with me. That is to do with the dairyman and farmer being as ruthless as they can, trying to kill this infection through antibiotics and anti-inflammatory drugs. I did well there not getting tongue-tied, didn't I? Anyway, from me and Cow2500 right now, that's it from us. Make sure you've subscribed so that you can get updates on Cow2500 because believe you me, they are coming and they will be positive. <laughs>